let me give the brief profile of uh, dr a srinivasul garu so dr a srinivasul garu uh, studied btech computer science and engineering from sri venkateswara university tirupati in the year 2000 and completed his mtech in intelligent systems from uh, iit alhabad in the year 2004 he received his phd from jntu anantapur under the supervision of dr ch uh, professor ch dv subbara garu currently he is working as head research and professor in it at blue crest university liberia he has 19 years of teaching and industrial experience he served as the head of the department of it in sv college of engineering tirupati during 2007 and 9 he has seven ibm professional certifications and uh, two microsoft certifications three edx certifications and so on he has completed nine nptel certifications and four spoken tutorial projects from iit bombay he has guided one phd and five students pursuing phd under his guidance so he has more than 110 uh, publications in his name in several journals and conferences and he has written three textbooks and he has been sanctioned two dst seminar grants and he has received several uh, awards like bharati vidya ratan and uh, international business council delhi has given the award on december 14 he has received state itap 2020 award best it teacher of the year award and uh, best mentorship award from igm tgmc challenge and best spoc from iit bombay best sb spoc from nbtel swayam etc and thank you sir thank you for uh, accepting our request and coming as a resource person for this workshop over to you sir thank you sir for nice introduction so before go going to our data science applications using machine learning and deep learning techniques first let let me check what is happening in the world wide where the data is going how the data is coming and uh, how do we store the data how many servers are required please check this url uh, now see this uh, a uh, url www.internetlivestats.com how many internet users are connected right now total number of websites opened email sent today and tweets google searches today how many videos viewed right now in this second see the number not the number is increasing rapidly you cannot read this a huge number that means every second thousands of users lakhs of users are connected to this internet so where this a huge volume of data is stored how many servers are required how many data centers centers are required so this is a very big question in order to solve this question we use cloud computing concept in the behind cloud is nothing but internet based technology the backbone of cloud computing is virtualization and data center i think everybody knows data center collection of high integrated servers at one place is called a data center virtualization is the ability to perform multiple tasks in a single system with the help of popular virtualization technologies or vmware hypervisor zen virtual iron so with this uh, we are creating n number of virtual machines so that's why gmail is a best consumer of cloud computing 24 by 7 we are getting the service how many servers are required to store this this data see tweet tweets websites open skype calls tablets sold smartphones sold computer sold 
This is the statistics we can see in this present scenario. So, so today I would like to explain the con contents, introduction to data science, statistics components, artificial intelligence concepts, data mining concepts, machine learning concepts, and deep learning concepts. Then we will see the practicals on COVID-19 virus prediction and detection and the COVID-19 strain virus prediction and detection, Ebola virus prediction detection, prostate, breast and lung cancer prediction detection. These are the applications recently I have executed. Six database, health database applications I have ex executed. So the prerequisition of data science starts with data. Data is raw material, fact or image. Data can be anything, audio, video, text, graphics, animation. Processed data is called information. Collection of interrelated data is called database. To manage the database, we are using relational databases such as SQL, MySQL, Teradata, DB2, MS Access. These are the relational databases. Nowadays, we are using relational less databases such as Mongo database, Hive, HBase. Cassandra, etc. Combination of data plus DBMS is called database system. Sub storing of subset of data warehousing is called data map. Collection of data marts is called data warehouse. Data warehouse is also called as online analytical processing. Once we are storing huge volume of data, we are extracting meaningful interested patterns from the huge volume of data that is called data mining with help of classification, clustering, association rule mining, outlier detection, recommender engine, etc. Then comes to the big data analytics. It deals with the three V's majorly like Facebook database, traffic database, weather forecasting database, health databases, etc. There are problems like volume, velocity, variety, veracity, viscosity, value, validity, etc. So in order to solve big data sets, we are using Hadoop, Spark, MATLAB, Python, advanced Java concepts, etc. Then finally, data science. Data science is the process of examining and extracting hidden patterns, insights from the large volume of data with the help of scientific methods, processes, algorithms, and computer programs. That is called data science. So can anyone give the answer for this uh, logo? Can anyone technical name of this logo? Everything we have incorporated in this one. Analysis, process, system, structures, knowledge, programming, everything incorporated in this image. What is the technical name of this logo? The technical name of this logo is called Data science word cloud, everything incorporated in this one. Then uh, how do we measure the computer information? Computer understands only ones and zeros. One bit is equal to zero or one. Four bits is equal to one nibble. Eight bits is equal to one byte. Four bytes is equal to one word. Four words is equal to 1024 word. Then kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, terabytes, petabytes, hexabytes, octabytes, zettabytes, yottabytes. Hi, I'm Robo. 
my speed is 1 terabytes my memory is 1 zettabyte before that robo moving we, we don't know the terminology of how do we measure the computer information after that movie we got to know uh zettabyte yottabytes so thanks to shankar director and thanks to rajnikanth after that i have such yesterday night there are two more terminology is presented now 1024 yottabytes is equal one brontobyte 1024 brontobyte is equal to one geobyte so it it is not jio jio that jio ruined students life they are not studying these days they are playing games because of internet facility so if you ask me 1024 geobyte is equal to infinity if you compare normal range big data range kilobyte is equal to 10 power 3 and gigabyte is 10 power 9 terabyte is 10 power 12 then big data range if you see 10 power 15 is called one petabyte 10 power 18 hexabyte 10 power 21 zettabyte 10 power 24 yottabyte so 10 power 27 one brontobyte 10 power 30 one geobyte that is a maximum measurement of mathematics range so data is central to data science without data there is no database application so if, wherever data is presented we are going to solve very complex applications in data science with help of machine learning ai techniques and deep learning techniques so data is categorized into two types categorical data numerical data categorical data examples marital status political parties eye color these are the categories of data numerical data again we are classifying into two types discrete continuous data discrete data is nothing but say number of children defects per hour like a, a, a counted items continuous data see as a human being we are growing every every day weight weight vo voltage measured in characteristics then how do we collect the data there are data collection tools such as interviews through observation surveys usage data focus groups we are collecting the data like online forums in depth interviews online communities web survey chart etc so where this data is coming what are the big databases big data sources like a facebook database legacy documents old databases media database cloud database web database facebook database social influencers active generated data data warehousing applications network related iot databases so erp data is a big database for a data science applications maybe a transaction data public data social media data data in health data in marketing and mobile devices cameras data microphones data data is everywhere and it can help organizations any industry in many different ways data has become too complex too dynamic to be able to process the data store the data analyze the data to manage the data with the traditional data tools those are sql mysql teradata db2 ms access etc we are unable to process traditional data databases that's why we are going to unstructured data to handle unstructured data we are using hadoop spark matlab etc so the beautiful definition of data science 
it is the it is also called as kdd process knowledge discovery database it is a data driven science it is in interdisciplinary field about scientific methods processes and systems to extract our insights from data in various forms either it is structure format and structure format if you take uh, data science is a kdd process as a programmer we are starts with the quality data how we are getting quality data before quality data we are doing pre processing eliminating redundant data noisy data dirty data inconsistent data etc then data becomes data quality then descriptive data diagnostics data predictive data and semantic data and finally we are getting knowledgeable data that is called a kdd process data science is a combination of visualization statistical modeling statistical computing data technology data research data consulting real world application scientific methods there are three important characteristics of data science data volume what is the size of the data we are handling in the real time environment data variety how many types of files we are handling in the real time environment audio video text graphics animation etc data velocity what type of databases we are handling batch processing periodic data near time data real time data legacy data old data what type of database we are handling in the real time in environment why do we want to study data science in your mind you are getting doubt that's why if you are collecting more data it leads to the more knowledge more knowledge leads to the more money all business magnates are increasing their businesses because of this uh, more knowledge how you got more knowledge you are collecting more data then we are doing pre processing with help of pre processing techniques like binning box plot etc data science is the process of examining large amounts of data of variety of types to uncover hidden patterns interested analytics unknown correlations and the other user information that is called a data science so why data science what is the responsibility of data science now we are collecting data from various sources like cloud computing internet of things big databases that is called datafication once you, we got the data then we are doing pre processing then we are applying the machine learning algorithm then we are developing a model then finally we are getting the results we are analyzing the results so why learn data science my dear participants my dear students so it is a fuel for 21st century problem of demand and supply a lucrative career data science is changing the world data science is a future because we are solving complex applications so facebook alone generating 1000 terabytes of data daily whereas many other organization like jet airways stock act stock exchange market generates terabytes of data every hour so data science is a collection of data sets which is so large and complex that is difficult to handle using dbms tools there are three types of data we are handling in the real time environment structured data unstructured data semi structured data so with help of relational databases sql mysql teradata db2 we are creating the tables and databases this is called a structured data examples tables transactions legacy data etc unstructured data is nothing but there is no schema there is no procedure but we are creating a databases like a facebook database health database stock market exchange database audio video text graphics animation youtube videos that comes under unstructured data so in order to process unstructured data we are using hadoop spark matlab r python advanced java programming languages tools 
then semi structured data uh, it is a 50% uh, structured data and 50% unstructured data that is called a semi structured data so who uses uh, data science big chains in the market disney parks google amazon nasa booking.com discovery facebook uber linkedin these are the very big chains are using uh, this data science applications what is the structure of data science data processing it is consists of three tiers tier 1 data science data sources tier 2 data, big data analytics and finally tier 3 analytics data sources consists of structured data and unstructured data we are giving as input to the system and we are choosing the tool and technique and the algorithms hadoop hive map reduce matlab spark or python etc final analytics we are generating dashboards reports and scorecards through pie chart bar chart line chart etc and uh, there are various data file formats such as audio video image text graphics animation sql files db2 files public record books transaction documents etc data science is an interdisciplinary subject we are using statistical methods like uh, linear regression non linear regression logistic regression statistics operations like uh, mean mode standard deviation operations we are using advanced computing cloud computing data centers we are using then visualization purpose we are using r matlab tableau etc data science is a multidisciplinary subject see how many subjects are incorporated in this one statistics pattern recognition machine learning data mining databases and data processing visualization so this is the all subjects integrated see now data science integrated with software development because we are using python java r matlab etc and then business analytics we are generating and statistical mathematics we are using like linear regression non linear regression and logistic regression machine learning algorithms we are using such as classification clustering association rule mining outlier detection recommender engine in machine learning three types we are using supervised learning unsupervised learning reinforcement learning data science roadmap if you see the first we need to frame the problem then unstructured data and then you need to understand the data then extract the features then develop a model that model predicts the results and the code so this is a data science is to there are five steps capturing the data with the help of data acquisition data entry signal reception data extraction then we are maintaining the database with the help of data warehousing tools like informatica hadoop hive hbase cassandra etc then data cleaning pre processing is nothing but data cleaning eliminating the redundant data noisy data inconsistent data dirty data data staging we are converting one form to another format that is called data staging data processing data architecture etc process we are using data mining clustering classification data modeling data summarization finally we are analyzing the data text mining regression predict predictive analytics qualitative analysis explorative analysis etc and communication finally we are uh, connecting with the end users then this is the life cycle of data science understand the problem business data collection data preparation exploratory data then we are developing the model model evaluation 
model deployment these are the major components of data science data there are three types of data i have already explained structured data unstructured data semi structured data data is a collection of factual information information big data is nothing but deals with the large data sets which are uh, traditional systems are unable to process the data big data is an enormously big data sets various v's volume velocity variety value veracity vision validity etc machine learning is nothing but learning from the observational data there are three types of data we are handling in the real time environment okay uh, any doubts if you are getting please ask me supervised learning unsupervised learning reinforcement learning these, these are the three types of uh, machine learning techniques i am going to show you practicals then statistics and probability the numerical foundation of data science is insights and likelihood there we are applying three types of techniques linear regression non linear regression logistic regression then finally we are applying programming languages like python java r matlab uh, python i mean uh, julia programming etc why python is so popular rich number of packages we are using in this uh, python programming recently i have used keras tensor flow pytorch sklearn numpy pandas various uh, packages i have used in order to solve the deep learning and uh, machine learning applications then uh, what is the difference between data analyst and data scientist data analyst is concentrating only two parts like business administration domain specific responsibility for example marketing analyst campaign management financial analyst equity research etc data exploration analysis and insights data scientist is concentrating on data exploration analysis and insights advanced algorithms machine learning deep learning algorithms is uh, applying for various applications finally data product engineering applications is going to developing so the process of data science final step acquiring the data preparation of the data reformat and clean the data then analyze the data and applying technique and getting the results and getting the results and analyze the results finally we are communicating with the customers end users stakeholders these are the data science tools sas sas is nothing but so statistic analysis software we are using spss apache spark big ml d3 matlab excel tableau jupyter matlab lib natural language toolkit scikit learn tensor flow keras various uh, tools we are using in order to solve the data data science applications if you see the tableau for visualization purpose and excel also we are using to generate the statistics rapid miner it is a data mining tool data robot and click view and h2o tensor flow big ml snowflake trifecta these are the data science tools usually there are uh, three uh, five kinds sign five kinds of uh, data science tools we are using data store purpose we are using mongo mongo database mysql hadoop like that then transformation we are using spark python sql etc then for modeling purpose we are using pandas spark sklearn etc for visualization purpose we are using uh, r program tableau d3 etc other tools like a kafka for messaging tool rabbit and q various tools we are using then uh, data science if you want to settle as a data scientist in the market you must have knowledge on 
mathematics and statistics, ethical skills, team player skills, lifelong, lifelong learning skills, communication skills, real world, machine learning, data visualization skills, data wrangling and the data wrangling is nothing but Hello? Data wrangling is nothing but hello. Pre-processing the database. Processing the database. We are eliminating noisy data, real data, inconsistent data, dirty data, etc. Then uh, skills as a data scientist. Then uh, skills as a data scientist have data mining on. Technology, analytics, machine learning, Python, learning, Python, Python R, etc. Hello, sir. My voice is audible. Sir, some echo is coming, sir. I think uh, you have uh, switched on to. Uh, now it is okay, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. My voice is audible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now My voice audible. is audible. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. My voice is audible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It Hello. is audible, but uh, screen share has stopped, sir. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I'm giving. So. 70 to 80 percent statistics we are using in order to solve the real time database applications, data science applications, then machine learning algorithms we are applying, and finally visualization 5 percent tools we are using, like R, Tableau, various tools we are using. Sir, screen share is not there, sir. Yes, yes, yes I am sharing right now. One second, sir. Okay, sir. Beach may work with screen screen yard screen coming up. Three up and right there. Uh special screen share. So my dear participants, any doubts if you are having, please post in the chat box so that I'm going to Clarify your doubts. Don't be hesitation mode. You must ask queries so that you can update knowledge in this data science domain. Here I am going to cover five subjects like statistics, AI techniques. Sir, please allow me, sir. Okay, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm going to share uh, my screen. Please allow me. So now you can check, sir. Yeah, it is coming now. Okay. So now my screen is visible? Yes, sir. It is visible, sir. Okay. So 
this is the way we are uh, solving uh, data science application statistics 70 to 80 percent machine learning 10 to 15 percent predictive modeling 70 to 80 percent 30 percent text mining visualization 5 percent so my journey to become a data scientist and head research i have applied like this step by step procedure understand the customers customers business define the metrics that matter translate for non technical audience statistical packages advanced mathematics experimental design model fitting scripting languages predictive analytics and hacking and coding to tools like sql mysql teradata hive hbase data governance data preparation get the right and ask good questions make it uh, actionable so five subjects i am applying in this data science what are the data science advantages and disadvantages so it's in demand right now abundance of positions highly paid career highly prestigious jobs are available versatile disadvantages it is blurry term mastering data science is near to impossible large amount of data knowledge is required arbitrary data may yield unexpected results etc what are the applications of data science image recognition speech recognition internet of science digital advertisements recommender systems price comparison websites gaming delivery logistics fraud and risk these are the various applications we are solving with help of machine learning and deep learning applications so data science use cases amazon is the big giant in the market improving e-commerce experience they are using machine learning deep learning application algorithms optimizing rights uber bank of america increasing customer experience and airbnb improving searches they are using machine learning and deep learning techniques and uh, data science use cases i have already explained what are the major use cases in the real time environment healthcare targeted advertisement image recognition fraud and risk detection price comparison websites internet searches speech recognition predictive predictive systems online dating product delivery various use cases are available right now in order to solve real time applications data science use cases the major use cases in healthcare right now in this pandemic period we are using uh, recently i have collected 960 x-ray image databases from the hospitals and uh, then uh, after collection of uh, uh, real time x-ray images from the hospital from yes, uci sir. website yes sir sir uh, screen share has stopped sir yeah and uh, after that i uh, have collected a few more uh, synthetic data sets from kaggle database uci database then i have applied machine learning and deep learning algorithms hello sir sir my screen is visible no sir yes sir now it sir, is my screen is visible sir yes sir yes sir yes sir it is visible okay yes yes and uh, data science case studies if you see the data science in pharmaceutical industries predictive modeling for maintaining oil and gas supply data science in biotechnology data science in education everywhere everywhere we are using uh, machine learning deep learning techniques so the future of data science algorithms especially we are using massive scale uh, graphing algorithms geospatial temporal predictive analytics and uh, hyper fast analytics embedded deep learning cognitive machine learning natural language algorithms and ai techniques 
applications in future of data science, cyber security applications, healthcare data analytics, IoT, Internet of Things applications, smart everything, customer engagement, expertise, and data for a, a societal good purpose we are using. And the summary, all of them have a tech background, machine learning and data mining are the common skills, programming, statistics, database and visualization are the top areas they specialize. So you must have knowledge on Hadoop stack, mathematical modeling, NLP, machine learning, behavioral economics, predictive analytics, data algorithm, Python, SQLR, and Julia programming, etc. So so what is the mathematics you require to solve a data science applications? What type of mathematics we are using in math maths, linear algebra and calculus we are using. In statistics, we are using uh, descriptive analytics and uh, inferential statistics we are using. Uh, sorry, uh, here uh, a lot of disturbances there through internet. Sorry for inconvenience. Again, I'm connecting uh, my screen. So what type of mathematics we are going to use in data science applications, especially descriptive statistics, inferential statistics. I am going to show you practicals, linear regression algorithm in Python, how we are using for predictive database applications and uh, linear regression, nonlinear regression, logistic regression, how I am using linear algebra, calculus, etc. I am going to explain these practicals. One second. A lot of disturbances there. So now my screen is visible. Yes, sir. Hello, my dear friends. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. So statistics, I think everybody knows. Statistics, uh, there are two types of statistics we are studying, quant quantitative uh, statistics and qualitative statistics. So statistics can be used to derive meaningful insights from data by performing mathematical computations on it. Okay, so statistical methods, descriptive methods and inferential methods we are using. In descriptive methods, we are using three types, univariate methods, bivariate methods, and multivariate methods. Inferential methods we are using central limit theorem, binomial theorem, and hypothesis testing, normal distribution, and uh, applied to means like uh, t test, ANOVA, psi test, psi square test, etc. We are performing. I have explained already data, maybe a two types qualitative data, quantitative data. In qualitative data, uh, we are uh, using like a categorical or attribute like marital status, political parties, eye color, etc. Quantitative data, we are discussing data that represents counts or measurements. There are two types, discrete and continuous, number of children, defects per hour, continuous weight and voltage, etc. So in basic probability in statistics, we are using central tendency like mean, median, mode and outliers. Measures of uh, spread, we are using range, standard deviation, variance, and quartiles. In percentiles, we are using posi position of a data, percentile rank, percentile, percentile range. Probability distribution, we are using uniform distribution, normal distribution, that is called Gaussian distribution, Poisson distribution. Dimensional reduction, we are using pruning techniques, especially in image processing, face recognition application, we are using principal component analysis. And sampling, we are using a, a software, a, a, I mean, a requirement a software. We are using statistics requirement software, reservoir, under sampling, over sampling. Bayesian statistics, we are using like P of A by B is equal to P of B by A into P of A by P of B. That is called Bayesian statistics, measuring belief for confidence problem we are using. Covariance and correlation, how data is related. And uh, these are the statistics formulas we are using in data science, mean, variance, median, mode, etc. I think everybody knows. Then uh, statistics for data science, we are generating uh, graphs like uh, sine wave, bar chart, line chart, okay. 
and uh, uh, arrow mark chart, pie chart, etc. So it is used to process the complex problems in the real world so that data scientist and analyst can look for meaningful trends and changes in data science. So it is used to derive meaningful insights from data by performing mathematical computations on it. So these are the basic statistics formulas we are using. Population measures like mean, variance, standard deviation. Sampling, we are using sample mean, sample variance, standard deviation, jet, jet score, correlation. In linear regression, we are using formula, probability, like uh, binomial distribution, one sample jet statistics, like confidence interval formula, margin of error formula, minimum sampling, one sample T, T statistic, two sample T statistics, sample proportions, two sample proportions, size square statistic, etc. So there are eight basic statistics we are using concepts in order to become a data scientist. Understand the types of analytics, probability, central tendency, variability, relationship between variables and probability distribution, hypothesis testing and regression. I am going to show you uh, types of analytics like descriptive, diagnostic, predictive, prescriptive analytics. I am going to show you practicals. Then probability, I think everybody knows complement, intersection, union. Then uh, conditional probability, independent events, how we are using mutually exclusive events, base theorem, just now I have explained. Central tendency, there we are calculating mean, median, mode, skewness. Cryptosis, these are the things we are applying in central tendency. Variability we are using, range, percentile, quartile, that is called IQR. Again, we are calculating percentiles, quartiles, interquartile range, etc. Then variance, standard deviation, these are the popular formulas, especially we are using in a population, sample, etc. Standard error, we are using population method, sample an estimate of the standard deviation of the sampling distribution. Relationship between variables like uh, causality, covariance, correlation. So that is called a relationship between variables and probability distribution. We are using three methods like PMF, PDF, CDF. Probability mass function, probability density function, cumulative density function, etc. Then a continuous probability distribution we are using, uniform distribution, normal Gaussian distribution, and Poisson distribution, okay, exponential distribution, size square distribution. Why we are using size square distribution? The distribution of the sum of squared standard normal deviates. For that purpose, we are using size square distribution, discrete probability distribution, Bernoulli distribution, binomial distribution, Poisson distribution. In order to increase the predict, prediction levels of the application. These are the formulas. And uh, why, we are, why we are doing testing? In order to eliminate the bugs in the runtime duration. Those are called exceptions. In order to solve exceptions, we are using hypothesis testing. Like a null hypothesis, alternative hypothesis, etc. We are using interpretation purpose, p-value, critical value, significance levels, and rejection region we are using. Jet test, I think everybody knows why we are using this test, whether it is working for one sample jet test or two proportion jet test. Okay. And t-test also we are using in statistical test. If the population variance is unknown and the sample size is not large, n less than 30, then we are using t-test. Okay. And uh, ANOVA test, I think everybody knows ANOVA, analysis of variance. ANOVA is the way to find out if experiment results are significant. One way ANOVA, two way ANOVA we are using. Very interesting uh, technique in SPSS tool. Statistical package for social science and SAS tools we are using that in order to perform ANOVA testing. Size square test. Goodness of fit test, size square test for independence, etc. So size square test checks whether or not a model follows approximately 
normality when we have a discrete set of data points then we are using size by test okay regression there are three kinds of regression techniques we are using first one is a linear regression linear regression is a approach to model the relationship between dependent variable and one independent variable that is called y is equal to mx plus c m is the slope and c is the constant and there is a y is a dependent and x is the exploratory variable now see this is the linear regression formula y is equal to the dependent variables and independent variables are prediction and y interpret intercept see now i am going to execute this linear regression algorithm we are using understand the modal description causality and the directionality in step 2 we are using check the data categorical data missing data and outliers step 3 we are using simple analysis and step 4 multiple linear regression check the model and the correct variables step 5 residual analysis step 6 in interpretation of regression output this is the way i am going to show you right now practical simple linear regression if you of see the step by step by step how i have executed in python programming import packages and classes provide data to work with eventually do appropriate transformations create a regression model and fit it with existing data check the results of model fitting to un, to know the whether model is satisfactory or not so this is the algorithm this is the python code linear regression python code now i am going to show you practicals linear regression non linear regression and logistic regression please sir uh, uh, see my screen my screen is visible sir please check now all of you yes sir my screen is visible yes sir okay so now i am going to execute python 3 in the command prompt i am executing python 3 see first linear regression demo i am going to execute now if you want to uh, if you want to see the code see i am going to show you so in this uh, python is the command and linear regression demo is the dot py now it is executing it will generate graph and mean intercept value so what i have shown in the it is processing now see now it is generated i have taken x array this is the graph it is generated now now see all of you this is the x value i have taken numpy array i have taken 5 10 25 that see if you see the wait wait i am showing my screen is visible hello sir my screen is visible it is visible sir yeah now see i have imported numpy so import numpy is a package as a np and from sklearn.linear_model import linear regression 
what i have taken import matplotlib in order to generate the graphs so i am taking a without reshape is a variable numpy array i have taken f5 15 25 35 45 print before reshaping numpy array then uh, x is equal to np means numpy package variable np dot array reshape minus 1 comma 1 means columns becomes rows rows becomes columns with this function after reshaping numpy array then um, i am using i am printing those values then applying the model so in this model i am using a linear regression uh, inbuilt uh, inbuilt uh, package code available in a uh, numpy package from sklearn from sklearn the linear regression model is available i am applying that function model dot fit of x comma y then i am calculating mean square error then print of quotient of determination then intercept value then slope value then testing by prediction value i am predicting the values then show this is the values i have generated now see once again this is the way i am executed okay now my screen is visible all of you if you want to see my code notepad okay this is the code i have written see this is the in python code okay same code i have written and executed now if you see non linear regression so this is a, a linear regression again i am executing a non linear regression see non linear dot py this is the graph i have generated okay so this is the graph and these are the values so now if you see in this one non linear regression multiple i mean y is equal to b not plus b1 b1 x x1 b2 x b2 x2 etc we are calculating y intercept value slope coefficient error term etc non linear regression regression trees and random forest which are tree based non linear algorithms we are using under non linear regression this is the code i have used non linear regression in python code okay these are the results i got it i am showing through my presentation again i am going to execute in a command prompt one more logistic regression logistic regression is a statistical model that in its basic form uses a logistic function to model a binary dependent variable although many more complex extension exist okay so this is the formula we have we have used in logistic the difference between linear regression logistic regression okay and uh, logistic regression algorithm it derives 0 or 1 finally this is the code i have written this is the values i am getting this is the graph i have generated now see again i am going to execute logistic regression python python and this is a logistic dot py so i am going to share with you all sort of uh, uh, programs and uh, code applications everything i am going to share with you okay so these are the results i have generated now uh, now i am moving to artificial intelligence algorithms i am going to execute three more algorithms then data mining algorithms i am going to show you okay so now now see what are the top 10 statistical techniques linear regression resampling methods string case dimension reduction classification non linear models unsupervised learning tree based methods support vector machine what is the difference between data scientist data engineer statistician 
So data scientist is using Python, SPSS, Julia, Spark, R, MATLAB, etc. Tableau. Data engineer is using MapReduce, Spark, Cloudera, Mongo database, HBase, Cassandra, SQL database, Pentaho. Then a statistician especially is using R, MATLAB, Excel, Wolfram, Wolfram Alpha, etc. The difference between a statistician data scientist. Data is given in text files. Need to get data for databases. Focus on modeling. Focus on results. Bring data to model. Bring model to data. Further away from production system. Embedded in production system. So these are the various features between a data scientist and data analyst. Background. A data scientist deals with the various data operations. Data analyst. His role is related to data cleaning, transforming, generating, etc. Scope. Involved with several underlying data processes. Involvement is limited to small data and statistic inferences. Type of data. It handles uh, structured data, unstructured data. Data analyst deals with the structured data only. Skills. Possesses knowledge of mathematics, statistics and uh, machine learning algorithms. Has problem solving skills, knowledge of basic, basic statistics. Tools like uh, proficient in SAS, Python, R, TensorFlow, Hadoop, Spark. No Excel, SQL, R, Tableau, etc. So this is the work uh, each uh, each person responsibilities like data scientist is performing on data analysis, statistics, machine learning, data mining, statistical modeling, research algorithms, analytics, programming, data engineer works on data warehousing, ETL tool. I think everybody knows extraction, transformation, loading tool, Informatica, Hive, HBase, Cassandra etc databases business intelligence and uh, data scientist uses matlab sas software analysis statistics data engineers use oracle hadoop microsoft sql server mysql hive languages like uh, r python latex c++ data engineers java java linux etc Data analyst versus data scientist, less pay, less experience. Data scientist, more pay, more experience. And the statistic modeling, predictive modeling, basic programming, advanced programming we are using in MATLAB. You know, Keras, TensorFlow, SKLearn, PyTorch. These are the various frameworks uh, I have used for uh, uh, prediction detection of health database applications. Recently, six database applications I have executed. So then support vector machine. I'm going to explain this SVM and uh, uh, principal component uh, analysis and decision tree algorithms in, a, uh, in data mining. So, okay. Now the second concept is uh, artificial intelligence. Intelligence behavior in a machine is called artificial intelligence. The science and engineering to make intelligent machines. It is proposed by John McCarthy in the year 1969. Intelligence is nothing but the ability to reason, the ability to solve novel problems, the ability to act rationally and efficiently, the ability to act like a humans. Okay. In artificial intelligence, Mimic like human, okay, think like humans. So intelligence is demonstrated by machines, unlike the natural intelligence displayed by humans and animals, which involves consciousness and uh, emotionality. See, AI is a popular branch of computer science that concerns with uh, building intelligent smart machines capable of performing intelligent tasks. With rapid advancements in deep learning and machine learning, the tech industry is transforming radically. So this is a difference between uh, deep learning, machine learning, artificial intelligence. Technique to perform machine learning inspired by a human brain's network of reasons. That's why deep learning is a sub-branch of machine learning. Machine learning is nothing but learning from the observational data. And uh, with help of uh, supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and uh, uh, reinforcement learning, artificial intelligence means so imitating the intelligence or behavioral patterns of humans or other living entities. 
so where uh, ai is used predictive analytics real time operations management customer services risk management and analytics customer insights pricing and promotion customer experience supply chain human resources fraud detection knowledge creation research and development etc the five most important concepts of ai machine learning learning from the observational data is called machine learning learning from the actionable data with a deep manner we are using deep learning we are using uh, uh, neural networks like artificial neural networks convolutional neural networks deep uh, convolutional neural network recurrent neural networks collaborator filtering especially we are using uh, commercial websites like amazon flipkart etc there we are using recommender engine then finally predictive intelligence artificial intelligence playing a vital role in this data science we are applying top 10 data science algorithms in this data science so what are the features of ai we are using deep learning facial recognition automatons data ingestion cloud computing quantum computing chatbots etc okay so data mining deals with the raw data collection data processing data cleansing exploratory data analysis model novel modeling algorithms communicate visualize reports if you see the green green uh, rectangle box we are applying model and algorithms and uh, neural networks data production intelligent agents if you see the yellow box it includes machine learning if you see the only blue rectangle box neural networks data production intelligence agents that is called deep learning so these these are the uh, ai and ml components like uh, development tools they are using r python jupyter etc languages like uh, c sharp c sharp r python julia java etc data platforms we are using spark hadoop sql server postgresql etc machine learning ai tools like h2o dot ai and uh, dm lc xz boost and the data exploration visualization tools excel sql server veka veka is a data mining tool vikato environment knowledge for analysis two faculty members invented veka tool from vikato university it is located at new zealand and the data ingestion tools like sql server okay and this cut no no so so again uh, one second uh, so these are the ai ml components so what are the pros and cons of artificial intelligence increased efficiency in artificial intelligence reducing human risk aid in decision making availability and disadvantages like cause of unemployment high initial investment dependency on machines lack of creativity etc these are the top 10 most popular ai models linear regression logistic regression linear discriminant analysis decision tree naive bayes k nearest neighbor linear vector quantization support vector machine i am going to execute svm and decision tree and uh, few more algorithms bagging and boosting deep learning etc so these are the factors uh, differences between data science and artificial intelligence scope types of data tools applications especially applications we are using advertisement in data science marketing internet search engines etc and manufacturing automation robotics transport healthcare etc scope it, it involves various underlying data operations in data science limited to the implementation of machine learning algorithms types of data structured data unstructured data can handle in data science standardized in the form of embedding and vectors tools data science or python sas spss tensor flow keras scikit learn etc in artificial intelligence we are using scikit learn kefe pytorch tensor flow shogun mahoth etc next third subject is data mining 
data mining is the process of extracting meaningful interested patterns from the large amount of data so there are four stages data sources data exploration data modeling model deployment see nest is the mother of invention han and kumbar if you read it uh, data mining and data warehousing textbook two authors they have done 10 years research on uh, uh, frequent pattern mining uh, concept they invented uh, very surprising items 10 years legacy data they have collected in the us walmarts and uh, they kept in the data warehouse then uh, they applied the prediction algorithms on the database surprisingly they got two interest items usually us employees they are they are outing every saturday and sunday with families so this han and kumbar done a very good research on that uh, 10 years database of uh, supermarket and walmart's data sets they have taken as input and applied prediction algorithm surprisingly they got uh, two items those are the diaper and beer so these two items are heavily sold out in their markets so they have done uh, very good research uh, uh, in this um, okay so in this uh, nest is the mother of invention they have given the this dialogue okay and uh, surprisingly they got uh, two items heavily sold out those are the diaper and the beer because all employees of usa they are outing every saturday and sunday so 10 years data they have collected they have applied prediction algorithms surprisingly they got two items are heavily sold out those are the diaper and beer so that is that's why we can call it as a hidden patterns we are extracting from the huge volume of data what is the difference between data science and data mining so data mining is a sub branch of data science you can call it as qualitative analysis multidisciplinary unstructured data data products in data mining we are using extracting data discovering hidden patterns developing predictive models etc then these are the top 10 algorithms we are using c4.5 that means classification 4.5 new base classification cot what is a cot expansion class and classification and regression tree phase rank algorithm support vector machine adap boost tri algorithm fp growth especially in frequent pattern mining k means algorithm etc these are the top 10 uh, top 10 uh, data mining algorithms and data mining softwares weka rapid miner nine mahot ratil r programming r n nltk natural language toolkit scikit learn sk learn matlab lbsvm data mining terms like uh, cart new base knn adap boost page rank expectation and maximization a priori support vector machines k means c4.5 class classification algorithms etc this is the comparison between data collection data mining data compression experimentation if you see the process parameters so microstructure properties performance in data collection data mining process modeling micro scale simulation micro scale simulation multi scale analysis performance prediction data communication reduced order modeling stochastics pattern recognition pca principal component analysis uncertainty so these are the data analysts analyst skills like data visualization data cleansing matlab or python as scale no scale machine learning linear algebra and calculus strong microsoft excel skills critical thinking communication etc and uh, this is data mining data science analytics i have explained already all the terms jargon my dear participants please post your queries in the chat box at last 15 minutes i am going to clarify your doubts so in data mining is the process of extracting meaningful interested analytics these are the terms we are using data warehousing data engineering data profiling data translation data mining data discovery text mining machine learning computer science etc data science science or scientist information science statistics analytics advanced analytics etc in analytics machine translation speech recognition robotics search engines etc so the fourth subject is machine learning 
learning from the observational data is called machine learning machine learning is a sub branch of artificial intelligence so it provides smart alternatives to analyze vast volumes of data by developing fast and efficient algorithms and data driven models real time processing of data we are using machine learning algorithms so ordinary system how introduction to machine learning ordinary system with a desktop system with ai we are using uh, some algorithms machine learning we are applying supervised and unsupervised reinforcement algorithms in order to develop a model that model will predict the results and uh, it improves the accuracy then uh, machine learning there are three types i have already explained supervised learning so supervised learning a class we are categorizing the data that is mean task driven system and unsupervised learning in unsupervised learning we are using a data driven system so in this uh, unsupervised learning we are using uh, k means clustering some clustering algorithms we are using in this uh, unsupervised learning in classification uh, supervised learning we are using decision tree support vector machine and uh, decision tree neural networks etc and reinforcement learning based on the punishment and reward we are solving the various uh, gaming application especially nowadays our students are playing pubg free fire very chess games various games they are playing because of reinforcement learning punishment and reward concept recovering from the mistakes error handling uh, reinforcement is learning algorithm sir screen is we are not solving clear. various application yes sir yes sir one second i am uh, reconnecting again okay sir. so my dear participants if you are having any queries please feel free to interact with me post your queries any doubt related to statistics artificial intelligence machine learning deep learning data mining please ask me any doubt with practicals especially in advanced java programming and python programming any library any framework you can ask me i am going to clarify your doubts okay sir please uh, allow me in order to share my sir, screen already please, allowed sir, sir. sir, uh, sir already is allowed sir. sir please uh, it is saying host disabled participants screen sharing for me you allow me one minute sir i have joined with dr a srinivas to one more email id sir yes sir yes sir Post disabled is showing, sir. One minute, sir. Hello, Check sir. Out. Please. No, it is not coming, sir. Post disabled. No, sir. It is already enabled only from my side. Sir, can you re-log in again, sir? With that. Uh... Yeah, yeah. please allow me sir now i'm i was sorry for the i think it's a disconnected sir
Hello, sir. My voice is audible. Hello, sir. My voice. Your voice is audible, and your screen also is visible. Please, the three types of uh, machine learning uh, algorithm we are using. So, supervised learning based on the label we are classifying the data. Unsupervised learning, there is no label based on the similarity behavior we are classifying the data. Based on Euclidean distance, Manhattan distance, Minkowski distance, we are using unsupervised learning with help of k-means algorithm, uh, k-means clustering algorithm, etc. Reinforcement learning is nothing but based on the punishment and reward we are solving. That is called uh, learning from errors. Works on uh, interacting with the environment, whereas the supervised learning methods. Works on given sample data experimentation. Then uh, types of machine learning. Just now I have explained supervised learning, task driven, unsupervised learning, data data driven, reinforcement learning from errors, learning from the errors. So if you see the big data sets, we are learning and training the model. Big data models we are using and inferencing. We are asking the query. It has to give the answer. And if it is not giving, then again we are training the model and expecting the very good uh, results. This is the machine learning life cycle: data gathering, data preparation, data wrangling. I think everybody knows data wrangling is nothing but pre-processing the data, eliminating the noisy data, redundant data, inconsistent data, dirty data. Then we are applying the data analysis. Then we are developing a model training, model testing, eliminate the exceptions in the runtime duration. Then deployment, etc. Then uh, how does this machine learning works? Input we are giving input uh, three kinds of data: structured data, unstructured data, semi-structured data to the system. Analyze data, find patterns, prediction, store the feedback. Then machine learning example: self-driving cars. These days we are using self-driving cars. Especially Google started this R and D research and development. Okay. And uh, predicting an illness, credit worthiness, ranking on social media, computer vision, agriculture, targeted emails, and quality and assurance based platforms, fashion industry, etc. Uh, I am going to explain how reinforcement learning uh, algorithm it works. Please check now, all of you. Left side fire is there. Right side, please analyze this scenario, my dear students. My dear uh, faculty members, please analyze this scenario. You come to know how reinforcement learning is working. So one side fire is there, and another side bucket is there. My chatbot or robot is observing two sides. So wrongly, it stepped into fire. So which that means there is a fire. It is a hot. So I am deducting fifty points in that one. Then again, uh, that chatbot or robot analyzing. Oh, there is a fire. And there is a right side bucket with full of water. Next time, he is taking a full of bucket of water and pouring into the fire. That means if you, if it does a bad step, we are giving punishment to the robot. That is called a punishing. And if it does right step, we are giving the reward. That's why reinforcement learning is called a punishment and a reward concept. My dear friends, learning from the errors. Learning from the mistakes is called reinforcement learning. Understood, all of you. Types of machine learning we are discussing. Supervised learning. What are the techniques? Classification, regression. In classification, we are using fraud detection, email spam detection, especially in Gmail. Diagnostic, image classification, regression, logistic regression, linear regression, and non-linear regression. And risk assessment, score prediction, etc. In unsupervised learning, dimensionality reduction, text mining, face recognition, big data visualization, image recognition, etc. In clustering, we are using biology, city planning, targeted marketing, reinforcement learning, especially gaming applications. We are developing with help of uh, reinforcement learning. My dear uh, uh, students, concentrate concentrate on re reinforcement learning because you are playing so many games these days. In pandemic period, you are playing so many games. Playing game is not important. How to develop a game is important as an engineering students. You must learn reinforcement learning. If you are having any doubts, please ask me how to develop a game. 
how to develop a chatbot application, etc. Okay, we are using in reinforcement learning, gaming, finance sector, manufacturing, inventory management, robot navigation, etc. These are the various algorithms we are using. Regression, nonlinear, polynomial, decision tree, random forest, classification, KNN, trees, logistic regression, naive base, SVM, clustering, SVD, PCA, K-means, okay, apply, FP growth, various algorithms we are using. I have explained in unsupervised learning, recommender engine, targeted marketing, customer segmentation, etc. In re reinforcement learning, we are using real-time decision, game, game, artificial intelligence, skill acquisition, learning task, robot navigation, etc. In supervised learning, again, two types, classification, regression. In regression, I am using a popular population growth prediction, estimating life expect expectancy, market forecasting, and weather forecasting, advertisement, popularity prediction, classification, identi identify fraud detection, diagnostic, etc. So these are the machine learning tools we are using, statistical platforms, pandas, exploratory data analysis, predictive model markup language, machine learning model builders, portable formats for analytics, Mongo database, especially unstructured data, scriptable databases, Hadoop MapReduce for programming on Java, Spark, especially in Scala, Python, or Java, it supports. Storm, real-time analytics, FPGA, and uh, ASICs we are using, GPUs and crow parser we are using. In machine learning softwares, we are using Weka, Apache Spark, RapidMiner, HTO, Shogun, Nime, and Apache Mahoth, PyTorch, TensorFlow, Keras we are using advantages and disadvantages, easily identify strengths and patterns in the machine learning, no human intervention is needed in machine learning, continuous improvement in machine learning, wide applications we are using, handling multidimensional and multivariety data, disadvantages, high error rate and susceptibility, data acquisition, time and resources, interpretation of results, etc. Applications of machine learning, Especially check my dear friends, we are using image and speech recognition application, med medical diagnosis, statistical arbitrage, learning associations, classification, prediction, extraction, regression, various applications we are solving under machine learning. These are the applications of machine learning, like uh, automatic language trans translation, medical diagnosis, stock market trading, online fraud detection, virtual personal assistance, email spamming and malware filtering, self-driving cars, product recommendation, traffic prediction, speech recognition, image recognition, automatic language translation, etc. These are the formulas I'm using, uh, main formulas for machine learning, especially naive base, K nearest neighbor, perceptron, neural networks, back propagation, guidelines, and uh, linear regression, principal component analysis, logistic regression, etc. See, now I'm going to show you practicals on, uh, okay. I am uh, going to show you practicals, uh, decision, uh, SVM. Sir, my screen is visible. Sir, especially my screen is visible. Hello, sir. My screen is visible. Please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I am going to explain. Now I am going to explain support vector machine SVM. Okay. And uh, see. So this is a Python a support vector machine algorithm. It is going to show you analysis kernel of RBF and kernel of RBM. And uh, so 
so again it is going to show you so these are the kernel dot py linear dot py solver these are the we have developed already in this uh, sk learn algorithm and um, these are the uh, support vector machine algorithm decision tree now i am going to execute decision tree okay now i am going to execute decision tree so decision tree algorithm now i am executing please observe all of you decision tree dot py my file name is decision tree dot uh, python decision tree so here i am calculating gini index gain ratio and how the node is uh, deciding the uh, uh, value and i am generating confusion matrix and i am generating the age fern and uh, this seven seven one four uh, rows and three columns i have taken i am calculating gain impurity and especially so this is about uh, decision tree algorithm execution i am going to share with you these algorithms i have executed nearly 15 algorithms i have executed those uh, practical uh, algorithms and code i am going to share with uh, with the coordinator and coordinator are going to share with you my dear friends see now deep learning next concept the last concept is deep learning what is meant by deep learning learning from the actionable data with the deep observation n number of uh, uh, hidden layers and uh, input layers we are using deep learning gets name from the fact that it involves going deep into several layers of a network which also includes hidden layers it is a sub branch of machine learning machine learning is a sub branch of artificial intelligence okay i think everybody knows what is deep learning learning from the observational data learning from the actionable data with a deep manner and uh, see example what is deep learning here i am giving input to the system car it has to identify car or not so i am doing feature extraction means what is the type of the model model of the car car color price various features right side driving left side driving what are the special features in this uh, car first i am extracting the features based on that features i am doing the classification algorithm finally it will detect whether it is car or not so deep learning is a subset of machine learning Machine learning is a subset of AI. AI is nothing but learning from the action, learning from the, I mean, intelligent behavior in a machine that is called AI. In the year 1950s, artificial intelligence came. Jan McCarthy invented the term AI in the year 1969. Then uh, machine learning, ability to learn without being explicitly programmed. That is called machine learning, learning from the observational data ability then uh, deep learning in the year 1990s and up to 2006 still it is leading in deep learning 2010 until date learning from the actionable data with the deep manner learning based on deep neural networks who invented deep learning alexi ivan kenho is a russia faculty member he created small functional neural networks, which is considered to the first serious deep learning back uh, learning breakthrough. So deep learning is an, uh, an AI function that mimics the working of the human brain in processing data for use in uh, detecting objects, recognizing speech, translating languages and making decisions. That's why using multi-layered networks for machine learning, we are using uh, DNN, deep neural networks, convolutional neural networks, recurrent neural networks. 
in machine learning, learning from the observational data, training missions to get better at a task without explicit programming, artificial intelligence enabling uh, machines to think like humans. And why deep learning? Deep learning requires larger training data sets. Amount of data we am taking x-axis and performance. Wherever huge volume of data is there, please apply deep learning techniques. Then only it gives very good accuracy. Okay. So this is the reinforcement learning concept I have already explained. How it is that the chart is learning from the mistakes. So uh, reinforcement learning is nothing but learning from the errors, learning from the mistakes. Okay. This example I have already explained. So deep learning modeling like data and labels and reference models, create update models, train, test models, evaluate models, serve model, etc. So deep learning pipeline, data streaming purpose, we are using various uh, data tools like HDFS, Cassandra, etc. Uh, even pig programming also we are using under data streaming programming language, YouTube audio, video, text, graphics, unstructured data, it can handle very easily pick programming language. It is a data flow language. Then users, data preparation analytics, we are using Jupyter, Apache, Jepilin, Spark, we are using. For especially frameworks and clustering, we are using PyTorch, TensorFlow, Sklearn, and Keras. These are the deep learning and the frameworks we are using. Models, for building uh, machine learning models, very deep learning, uh, high number of hidden layers and input layers we are using. Model serving, we are using predicted models. Then these are the tools we are using uh, in this uh, programming, machine learning programming language, especially nowadays popular Python and R. Python is so popular because of rich number of libraries are presented. Machine learning tools like Weka, SKLearn, TensorFlow, etc. Deep learning tools, especially Keras, PyTorch. Analytical tools like Spark and Loop. Visualization tools are Matplotlib, Seaborn, Jupyter, etc. And what is the difference between machine learning and deep learning? See, human intervention is presented in machine learning. There is no human intervention in deep learning. My dear participants, Faculty members, please observe this diagram. It gives more knowledge, more inference you can extract from this image. See the difference between machine learning and deep learning. Input I'm giving same, but final output also I'm getting same, whether it is car or not. But uh, where human intervention is presented, machine learning. There is no human intervention is presented in the deep learning. Feature extraction, then clarification, final output. Here, no, no see here I'm using hidden neurons feature n number of there is no restriction you can use n number of layers and input layers this is the difference between deep learning and machine learning data if you take data is a uh, data parameter needs big data set for uh, deep learning performs well with a small data to medium data set hardware requirements it requires needs with gpu in deep learning graphical processing units machine learning you can use cpu desktop, laptop, etc. Very big application, go for high computing servers. Then engineering uh, peculiarities needs to understand the basic functionality of the data, understands the features and how they represent the data. Training data, it takes long time in deep learning and uh, machine learning, it takes short time. Processing time, a few weeks, a few seconds or hours. Number of algorithms, few difficult some machine learning algorithms are easy to interpret so this is deep learning process i'm taking input layers hidden layers l2 l3 l4 so many hidden layers we are using to in order to increase the performance levels deep learning process i'm using in the year 1980s it came actually jan mccarthy and uh, ivanko menko introduced uh, a learning deep learning concept then it identifies uh, pixel values identify edges, identify combination in order to find out a face recognition application, identify features, then finally we are getting the output. These are the popular algorithms, DNN, CNN, RNN. 
DNN stands for Deep Neural Networks, providing lift for classification and the forecasting models. Then CNN, especially for image classification, we are using CNN, feature extraction and the classification of images. And RNN, recurrent neural networks, for sequence of events, language models, time series, etc. we are using RNN. Deep learning models, we are classifying supervised and unsupervised models. CNN, classic neural networks, recurrent neural networks, unsupervised, self-organizing maps, Boltzmann machines, auto encoders, especially we are using. So DNN, CNN, RNN can perform all these tasks like prediction, time series, analytics, uh, uh, and video analytics, audio analytics, and uh, traffic data analytics, stock market data analytics, Bombay stock market analytics, Sensex data analytics, weather forecasting data analytics, computer uh, com recognition uh, applications, classification. We are using these three techniques. Deep learning methods classified into four types. In CNN, we are using a VGG model. I have used VGG model and uh, uh, ResNet, Google Net, I have used for my uh, research work. And RBM based methods, we are using uh, deep belief networks, deep Boltzmann machines, deep energy models, auto encoder based methods, we are using sparse encoder, denoise. These are the formulas. Uh, etc. These are the top 10 algorithms I have used for my research. Myself and my friend Tarkeshwar Barwa, we have executed six database applications in order to predict and detection of coronavirus uh, image, chest image data sets. Corona strain chest image data sets we have taken. 960 images we have collected from the various hospitals and we have applied a tensor flow and um, Microsoft Cognico Toolkit, Cafe. If you are uh, perfect in Java programming, go for deep learning 4J, Chainer method, Keras. These are the various open source tools. Okay, and uh, Python is integrated with uh, so many frameworks. If you see this diagram, it is integrated with the Keras, Sparkflow, TensorFlow, Theano, Torch, Lua, PyTorch, Fast.ai, and C Sharp, Paddle, and Dlib, C++. See, Maxnet is connected to Perl, Java, R, Julia, Clojure, and various uh, tools are integrated with the Python. Python is so popular because of rich number of libraries are uh, incorporated thanks to rossum he invented the python programming language and what are the major applications of python i mean uh, deep learning especially instant visual translation applications predict predicting the future chatbot medical self driving cars read read lip movements deep learning and the photo description, colorizing the images, medical care, predicting the future, advertising, so many applications are there. Five application areas are presented, fraud and risk detection, image speech recognition, healthcare analytics, augmented reality, airline route planning. These are the, these are the top 10 fascinating applications of deep learning, self-driving cars especially. Deep dreaming, automatic mission translation, news aggregation, sound addition to silent films, demographic prediction, pixel restoration, automatic handwritten generation, detection of growth delays in children. These are the top 10 fascinating applications of deep learning. My dear friends, keep in mind and ask doubts at the last. Okay. And these are the data science application, especially e-commerce like uh, Amazon, Flipkart. These are the uh, uh, e-commerce websites are uh, 
getting so much benefit with help of uh, deep learning uh, algorithms e commerce manufacturing banking healthcare transport finance etc these are the real time applications what sells most ice creams learning to speak recognizing defects using suggestions to make better decisions various fields wherever data is presented wherever data complexity is there we are applying deep learning algorithms so data science is a combination of all sort of things you require ide you can use pycharm jupiter calibrator spider r studio etc web scraping we can use beautiful soup scrapy url lib deploy aws cloud we are using amazon amazon is so popular under infrastructure as a service cloud jeff bezos is the ceo of amazon company there are two big giants clouds ec2 and s3 under amazon web services then we are using mathematics statistics linear algebra differential calculus data analysis and machine learning programming language like python or java etc so these are the tools we i have explained many times deployment tools data ingestion tools languages data platforms deep learning virtual machines ml and ai tools etc so python or sql sas sas is nothing but software analysis uh, software i mean statistical analysis software sas very popular sas tool spss first in order to generate the statistics we are using spss excel aws power bi spark ml perl bash various tools we just sentiment analysis biden won the elections my dear friends can anybody knows how joe biden won the elections behind there are data scientist fight to especially they sit together e voting system sms messages every channel they have utilized and collected the database and stored in the system and the election algorithms it's are joe biden lagging in that state spoons free of current rice uh, everything all the amenities facilities he has been provided to the all the public where he is lagging so definitely those states he is getting uh, some uh, votes that's why joe biden won behind data analytics played by the vital role has done tremendous work in order to win the us seat so that's why that much importance is there for deep learning data mining predict to mining sentimental mining behavioral mining you can do fantastic application string how we can capture and deliver etc these are the challenges of uh, data science according to the gartner survey he is going to reveal every week every month which uh, hardware is the number one in the market so dirty data he found that it is a major challenge in uh, data science especially okay and uh, these are the skills you required especially it skills business skills analytical skills data science i have explained already Uh, according to gartner survey he has been given beautiful data flow diagram in order to solve the real time applications we are following gartner survey so as a beginner my dear students and faculty members you may get doubt which is a better to start ai ml and dl you may get the doubt for that uh, doubt i am giving the answer if you are a beginner just to use artificial intelligence any technique which enables computers to mimic human behavior so better to start as a beginner artificial intelligence learn the expert system fuzzy logic soft computing techniques etc then you learn machine learning it is a subset of ai techniques which use a statistical method to enable machines to improve the experience then you go for deep learning 
subset of machine learning which make the compute computation of multi layer uh, neural networks feasible etc so these are the six database applications uh, myself and my friend tarkeshwar barwa in data science research laboratory we have executed tremendous applications covid 19 virus uh, detection application uh, we have executed covid 19 co stands for corona y stands for virus i think my dear students virus can anybody expand virus vital information resource under seas that is called virus there are many viruses are coming these days d for disease so so it came from sars uh, convolutional uh, uh, visualize uh, conval covariance to i mean uh, uh, covid virus severe acute respiratory syndrome these are the symptoms we have extracted from the various databases fever cough chills etc these are the x ray images i have collected and i have applied deep learning algorithms like recurrent neural networks convolutional neural networks these are the steps i have followed like a convolution operation it refers to the combination of two functions to produce a third function then relu rectified linear function in order to improve the performance i have used pooling function where uh, i am integrating uh, there are two types of max pooling and minimum pooling then uh, flattening full connection these are the algorithms uh, cnn i have used then uh, uh, this is the example i have taken of pneumonia normal covid 19 image as a input system i have applied cnn and resnet frameworks i have used and 10 by 10 by 2048 image pixels i have extracted then uh, Uh, concatenated those features then i'm applying a flatted features then i'm dropout function in order to increase the performance i'm using dropout function in uh, convolutional neural networks and recurrent neural networks this is the final output i'm getting normal image covid 19 pneumonia this is the training data set i have taken and this is algorithm i have applied in python algorithm then this is the code i am going to share with you my dear friends i am going to share with you this code i have uh, used uh, uh, i am using keras library and um, that is a very fantastic uh, uh, deep learning uh, uh, framework in especially in python and then sequential function i am using dropout activation function flatten dense then uh, training augmentation configuration then testing augmentation then uh, training augment i mean uh, generates uh, batch batches of augmented image data this is the corona test data set then this is the chest x ray of covid 19 virus and severity levels of the image this is the results i got it uh, 86.7 then this is the execution flow this is the data loss versus accuracy execution time between covid 19 virus data set versus number of uh, processors i have used four processors see my system it stuck one time this is the execution flow while running my application deep learning my system got uh, dead slow by the time while executing then covid 19 data size versus accuracy this is covid 19 strain so this is one more database application i have executed same as covid 19 but a few uh, symptoms are differ like uh, sore throat and um, con and uh, conjunctivity is a rash on the skin and diarrhea discolorization of fingers or toes headache etc and uh, this is the train input uh, strain input data set to the cnn model this is a training this is the code rnn i have used rnn especially training parameters network parameters graph input define weights these are the functions i have applied in this uh, finally i got the x ray images uh, x ray covid 19 strain virus and severity levels then prostate cancer i have executed one more database application these are the symptoms of prostate cancer i have collected various uh, uh, x ray images uh, from the kaggle uci google database microsoft database i have collected the various x ray images this is the training data set 
and this is a testing data set i have tested with uh, 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 external image it gives the prostate cancer versus normal image then breast cancer same as i have collected uh, breast x ray images these are the symptoms of breast these are the uh, x ray images i have taken and this is a training data set this is the final output i got uh, x ray of breast cancer versus normal image then lung cancer i have collected again 960 x ray chest images these are these are the symptoms and these are the x ray images i have collected and i have applied cnn model and training data set and finally i got the output x ray of lung cancer and normal image and the last database application is ebola virus prediction detection here also i am i have used um, cnn and rnn model these are the symptoms and 90% uh, of infected people die if once ebola virus attack and these are the symptoms like headache and uh, vomiting abdominal pain diarrhea muscle pain etc these are the training data set this is the code i have used training parameters network parameters and define weights this is the code i have executed final output i got it so this is this is the conclusion of my today's international webinar on machine learning i mean data science application i have executed 960 images our we have found 149 images are positive 234 phenomena i mean uh, pneumonia positive 250 normal and uh, diagnostic we got uh, fantastic results 89.62 and 91.54 for sensitive sensitivity for covid 19 classes thank you sir for giving me this opportunity these are my uh, webinars on future uh, i am going to conduct a few more countries webinars this is at uh, thailand and uh, this is at uh, malaysia this is at singapore and uh, this is uh, as a keynote speaker at geetam and this is a resource person at uh, mits madanapalli and this is resource person at sri vidyaniketan engineering college this is jury member uh, at madanapalli mits and this is keynote speaker and this is doctorate from uh, jnt anantapur bharat vidya ratan award uh, from delhi in the year 2018 and uh, this is a uh, best it teacher of the award itap best it teacher award at hyderabad 2020 and um, this is best local chapter award from iit madras in the 2019 this is international seminar at salem uh, this is sangam university at uh, rajasthan i have given the talk this is uh, abs college at gaziabad this is at uh, jaya engineering college tamil nadu and this is a webinar on uh, maharshi markandeya engineering college punjab and uh, data science uh, talks at blue crest university this is big data analytics using spark at oman saudi arabia i have given and this is a data science application hands on and and this is at russia i have delivered a talk covid 19 strain virus detection and this is a two days big data symposium at blue crest university this is from russia i got the young scientist award from that russia university and this is a two days a symposium on data science application this is at bharatiyar university tamil nadu and uh, this is lord lords institute of technology hyderabad it career and opportunities this is uh, data science using r programming and uh, this is at uh, reva university bangalore i have acted as a international panel member and uh, delivered a talk this is karpaga vinayaka college of engineering at tamil nadu and this is at uh, vigyan bharati hyderabad uh, topic is implementation of data science application using machine learning algorithms this is a research conclave i have conducted and i uh, have invited uh, 49 universities and uh, uh, we have uh, conducted research conclave this is at uh, krishna university data science application using machine learning deep learning techniques and this is at kl university i have conducted uh, two days on robotic process automation tools ui path and blue prism these are the popular tools under uh, 
uh, automation, uh, robotic process automation. I have given uh, two days with the practical sessions. Then 